हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नरेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ई एक्स आई एंड सी आई आई इन टूडे वीडियो विल सी दैट वाई द ई एक्स आई केम वॉट इज द लेवल ऑफ एम्बिशन ऑफ द इनिशियल स्ट्रैटेजी आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी वाट आर द वेरियस क्लाइमेट चेंजेस रेगुलेशन विच लेड टू द ई एक्स आई वाट इज द सिनॉप्सिस ऑफ ई डी आई वाट इज द ई एक्स आई एंड वाट इज द सी ई आई आई एंड आफ्टर दैट वील सी वाट आर द शॉर्ट टर्म मेजर विच आई एम ओ हैव अडोप्टेड फॉर आई एम ओ ट्वेंटी थर्टी एंड हाउ वी कैन रिड्यूस द ई डी आई एंड ई एक्स आई वैल्यू एंड आफ्टर दैट वील सी वॉट एक्शन वी आर टेकिंग टू रिड्यूज द जी एस जी रिडक्शन सो दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो We will make total uh, five to six video on EXI, covering each and every topic from basic to advanced level, so that it will be beneficial for your examination purpose and also for the SIP related service. So, friend, Marine Engineering Hub is a platform which uh, make video like this. And if you want to encourage us, please do subscribe. If you subscribe, we will get very much encouragement. So, please encourage us, friend. Marine Engineering Hub also started. membership if you want to join the membership you can enjoy exclusive perks so you can opt for that also so let's start the today video of that why exi came so first before exi what is the full form of exi energy efficiency existing index so exi came into the existence because of the imo strategy on reduction of ghg emission from ship so imo have adopted a method for reduction of greenhouse gas emission from the ship on april 2018 which will be reviewed every 5 year so as you know what after the series of search imo have found the main culprit behind the global warming is the greenhouse gas and the major gas which is causing the overall increase in temperature is the co2 this co2 is majorly part of a fossil fuels and hence it is causing the overall increase in emission and increase in greenhouse gas emission so reduce that they have come up with the greenhouse gas emission reduction method for which will be reviewed in every 5 year this imo method for reduction of greenhouse gas was first ever effort which was adopted by imo without any distinction between the developed and developing countries so that was the imo initial strategy so what are the basic aim means what are the basic aim of this i am most likely we will understand by this graph so as you can see the whole thing edi exi sim part 1 part 2 cii everything have come up because of this greenhouse gas emission so the main aim of the imo is to reduce the greenhouse gas so they have put certain target so what is the final target of the vision of the imo the final target to is to have a zero greenhouse gas emission it means they want to substitute the ship they want to substitute the ship with such a fuel which will have a zero carbon emission it means that we have been now in a phase where we are going out from the fossil fuel and we are changing to the such a type of fuel which will be have a zero carbon emission that is the imo final target so how this level of ambition is going to be implement, implemented so what they have done there was a meeting in 2008 in imo where the vision and the upcoming target was identified what they have said they have said that a target of transportation efficiency that is co2 co2 emission per transport work compared to 2008 they want to reduce it by 40% so what they want to reduce they want to reduce the co2 emission per transport work by 40% by 
2030 and by 70 percent by 2050. So they want to reduce the CO2 emission per transfer work by 40 and 70 percent by 2030 and 2040 respectively. Second, they have targeted that the total annual GSG emission compared to the 2008. they want it to reduce by 50% by 2050 and they have a target to have a zero emission at the earliest of this century so we are in the 21st century so they want it to be reduced by 50% by 2050 and to zero earliest by this century so for that they have adapted certain thing so as you as you know the meeting was held in 2008 after the 2008 they have come up with the EDI and SIMP, okay. EDI for the new build SIMP and SIMP for the existing SIMP. After that, in the EDI they have told that there will be phase one, phase two, phase three. So accordingly, the SIMP will be designed and the reduction in the value of EDI will be implemented based on the new SIMP design. So based on that, EDI phase one, phase two, phase three come. After that, in order to have a close monitor on the fuel consumption. they have come up with the dcs regulation which was again implemented in 2018 entered into force and it was reporting starting from 2019 after that in 2021 as a short term measure they have come up with the exi and cii so okay so this exi and cii came up because so that to have close monitor on the amount of co2 emission from the ship as you can see here the 2030 target as i have told you is 40% reduction of a co2 transport work and 2050 they are trying to have a net zero emission by earliest of this century so this is the imo initial strategy okay so now let's have a quick synopsis that what edi energy efficiency design index help so basically it is a design index first you should know it is a design index it means we are improving the technical performance of a new build ship so in edi which is implemented in 2013 entering entering into force phase 0 they have told that we are going to build a ship which will be more efficient in design so that it will reduce the carbon intensity the performance target become more stringent and thus the innovation in the ship design came up after that different goal for different type of ship were recognized and hence it is thus i am come up with the edi now after coming with the edi there was a significant improvement in the co2 emission but the target was not hitting so they come up with the exi energy efficiency existing ship index why because the ship which are already in the market which are already in the market they are emitting more co2 compared to the ship which are new built so what they have done they have come up with the exi so that to also include those ship which are already in the market and plying before 2013 so what they have said they have said that the exi will enter into force from 1st november 2022 and all the ship all the ship which are constructed before 2013 or after 2013 will have to follow this means that the ship which are constructed before 1st november 2022 which will be monitored from 1st january 2023 will be considered existing ship that all ship have to follow exi the exi is a one time certification process like the edi and the main aim is to improve the overall carbon intensity okay so the carbon intensity will be get improved because of this exi how we'll see in the upcoming video okay so the exi came why if anybody asks you the question that why exi came there was already edi then why exi came so exi came for the ship which are constructed before 2013 they were large in number and in order to have a 
to reach the goal of a IMO GSE emission. Therefore, they have come up with the EXI and CII. They have telling that all the ships which are constructed from 1st January 2013 before will be considered as a EXI ship and that all ship need to follow EXI rules and regulation. Okay. So, by this they have reduced the overall CO2 emission. Now, how we can basically reduce this uh, E carbon emission? So, what they have done in EDI, they have improved the hull design. They have focused on the waste head recovery. They have reduced the electrical consumption. But this was not sufficient. So, they have come up with the EXI. In EXI, what they are doing? They are limiting the power so that the emission will be limited. They are providing, coming with the renewable source of energy, propeller optimization, and the CII. Now, the question is sometimes marked that what is EEXI and what is CII? So, EEXI is the technical approach and CII is the operational approach. So, let's see how. Here. So, sometimes they ask that why EEXI and CII come. So, you need to tell EEXI and CII come as a IMO need to achieve target by 2030 of the GSG emission. In order to achieve that target, they have come up with the short term measures, which was mentioned in the Marpole Annex 6 MEPC 32876 amendment. So, what is the technical approach? The technical approach is the EXI and the operational approach is the CAII. What is the technical approach? They are saying that all the ships which are constructed before 2023 will be consider as a EXI ship and they need to have a EXI index. They need to follow the EXI index. And the required EXI is almost same as the required E day for new ship as of 2023. And all the ship which are constructed after 1st Jan 2023 will have a same value requirement of EDI which was before. So what they are saying and what is the CII? CII is an operational approach. Now, you have designed a ship whose CO2 emission is less. Now, to have a close monitor, they have come up with your operational approach, CII. Ship will be rated based on your CO2 emission, okay, from A to E. And if you are getting D for three consecutive year or E for one year, you have to submit a corrective action plan it means that now what they want to say that even if you have EEXI even if you have EEXI you are following but the CII will be modified on an annual basis and you need to follow the CII rating if you will be based on the CO2 emission which you are doing you will be rated from A to E and if you are getting D or E, in that case, you have to submit a corrective action plan. Okay. So, now, sometimes the question is asked, how you are going to optimize the greenhouse gas emission? So, there are several processes. What are the processes? Let's see. The first is the hull bow falling management. If we reduce the hull bio fouling then we can reduce the resistance and hence increase the efficiency of ship by reducing the fuel consumption so for that we have come up with the mgps iccp system hull and superstructure if the structure is hydrofoil in nature in that case it will generate less wave resistance and hence it will increase the engine efficiency and hence the overall speed and hence reduce the fuel consumption if we have a hydrogen other type of fuel then we will have a more reduced fuel oil consumption and more less CO2 emission because it does not involve any carbon. Biofuel, LNG, LPG, full electric. So these are all the alternative fuel which we are shifting instead of a fossil fuel so that 
to have a reduced GHG emission. So as you can see, if you shift to the electric, then we are reducing the emission by 50 to 90 percent. If we are coming to the LNG LPG, then we are reducing, reducing the 35 percent as compared to the fossil fuel. If we are going to for biofuel, in that case, we are reducing 90 percent. And if we are going for hydrogen, in that case, we are reducing by 80 to 100 percent. Now, if we optimize the propeller design and if we can reduce the vortex and if we can reduce the turbulence in the propeller in that case we can also increase the engine efficiency so voyage optimization speed and capability so these are all the method by which we can reduce the ghg and hence improve the ship edi or exi value so as you can see the fuel reduction is equal to GSG reduction. It means that if the propulsion improving device we fix, then we can improve by 2 or 3 percent. If we improve the main and auxiliary engine design, we can improve by 5 to 8 percent. If we can improve the safe speed, we can improve the GSG reduction by 7 to 10 percent. Fuel reduction, if we if we reduce the fuel, in that case 20 to 25 percent, we are reducing GSG. That majorly we are doing in the EXI. We are reducing the speed, hence we are reducing the fuel consumption and hence we are reducing the GAG emission by more percentage. After that, supporting system, bulbous and hull line, superstructure and deadwood increase. So these are the methods by which we can reduce the E, XI and EEDI. So friend, in today's video we have seen that how we can reduce the greenhouse gas, why the IMO used short term measure. And what is the EXI and what is the CII? So EXI is a technical approach and CII is a operational approach. Means EXI technical approach means what? It means that it will be adopted based on the overall design and based on the overall modification which is done only once time and certification is given for only one time. But CII is the operational approach which depending is value is dependent upon the operation of the ship and hence it will be monitored annually and based on that you will gonna get a rating okay now how why the EDI came why the EXI came okay we have learned in this video so friend if you are watching till now I know that you are interested in learning and therefore I appreciate your effort Please appreciate us by subscribing, by sharing and if you want to enjoy exclusive perks, so please join our membership. Thank you friend. Have a good day.